worry less. I can't even worry about where I got it from. I don't. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Coffee with Zach. My name is Zach Hathaway, your host, and welcome to the show. We have a special episode today. It's a bonus episode, and that's because our last episode did really, really well. Thank you to Fabian Haywood and everybody who liked, commented, and really pushed that video around on the internet. It really, really helped out our engagement and it helped out our channel. So we really, really appreciate that. And because of that, we wanted to give you a little surprise. We've got one last trick up our sleeves. When we filmed that video, we did a whole house tour uh, of Fabian's Airbnb. So today you're gonna get an inside look at Flint's one and only Oak Street Airbnb by Fabian Haywood. Let's get into it. Hey there, my name is Fabian Haywood. I am 26 and I am a real estate investor in Flint, Michigan. And this is my Oak Street BNB. Alrighty. So first, of course, you have the living room and the goal for this space was for it to be um, a little muted in the sense that I wanted it to be colors and tones that were earthy and not too um, outstanding, um, but very calm, very welcoming. And so that's kind of what I was trying to create in, in this space. You have the big TV, have light decorations, you have the fireplace so that when you come in town, you can just relax with your family, um, try and keep it a bit social, long, beautiful, tufted leather couch and additional seating for people to have face-to-face -face conversations. Um, I had to highlight the city of Flint in this space. So each of these photos are just iconic things that you won't miss when you visit Flint, Michigan. The first is the uh, Citizens Bank logo that was prominent before Huntington Bank came to Flint. And then the Flint sign um, that is more new than these other photos, the Capitol Theater and the Vehicle City logo off of Saginaw Street. What about the stuff on the mantle here? Um, where did that come from? So everything in the house just comes from a million different places. But I believe that these vases came from Pier 1. Um, I was lucky enough to catch a liquidation sale. So I got these for a really low price. Um, but I also like to find things like this, trinkets like these from Walmart. Um, really convenient, you can find them anywhere, but they have, they make a big statement in the space. Okay, well, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for this house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful to have passive income. I'm thankful to have people who support me and celebrate me and my accomplishments. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, where did the plant come from? Long story short, okay, it came from somebody's mother who's not in my life anymore, okay? <laughs> Still love the mom, don't know about the person. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. What about the, um, the blinds or the window coverings? The blinds actually came with the house Ooh. and I decided to keep them because they kind of bring your eye up from the natural wood floor up into these kind of wood uh, window treatments. Yeah, what about the coffee table? So the coffee table itself actually came from Goodwill. Ooh. And so one secret that a lot of people may not know about Goodwill is that sometimes they get really good stuff from Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all that home goods. And so this I believe was 25 bucks in the box, brand new came from Goodwill. This centerpiece came from Pure One, another liquidation item that I found. This beautiful tufted leather couch with studs and all of these beautiful appliques came from a consignment shop that I found via Facebook Marketplace. Um, the woman posted the couch by itself, but it turns out she had a, uh, an entire uh, shop in Mount Morris. Beautiful items. Oh, wow. I usually see these go for a thousand or more, but I only got it for 250 bucks. Awesome. Yeah. What about this uh, this light? <laughs> so I was sharing earlier that I met a contractor who told me that he'll tell me everything I know. Mm -hmm. And as we got to know each other, he saw this and thought of me. And I just I just nodded. When I first saw it, I was like, yes. 
<laughs> yes. So he found this for me and um, I got it for a really good price. Awesome. Yeah. What about the, this light? <laughs> this beautiful lamp was another item I found in a liquidation. Um, the table, another Goodwill item. Um, this chair, Facebook Marketplace, beautiful detailing. Um, and pillow, I believe I got that one actually as a gift from my aunt. Ooh. Yeah. So these things kind of just all come together. They really do. They, uh, I mean, everything in this room complements one another, so. It's very well put together. These lights, the earth lamps rather, they have three legs. So back here, I believe that these lamps were um, in someone's dorm room and their mother <laughs> sold them to me for 10 bucks each. Um, and I spray painted them. They were, oh. they're metal, they're really heavy. Oh wow. But I spray painted them this um, antique brass color, just to kind of match the feel of this rustic, these rustic shelves and kind of the champagne tones mm -hmm. that you have throughout this space. Yeah. Um, these all came from Walmart. I just thought that they would make, you know, something where you can sit things, sit keys as you come in. Um, even the drawers here came from Walmart as well. Um, as well as the Wi-Fi sign, everybody needs Wi-Fi, <laughs> okay? And then these beautiful gold mirrors came from Amazon. Awesome. The fact that you remember where everything came from means you put so much effort and so much detail into just your search for all of these items. Yes. It's very, uh, yeah, very I thorough. Thank you. Awesome. Um, and so much money. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now entering one of my favorite spaces because this is where we eat. This is where we eat, where we laugh, where we play games. And coming out of the living room, the first thing you notice is this beautiful tapestry. I bought this tapestry way back when I bought my, uh, when I was renting my first apartment. And it didn't have this beautiful gold frame, um, but the frame ended up coming from Joanne's and I got it framed and it just made it more of a statement piece for this space. So I completely love this. The tapestry, by the way, comes from society6.com. And like I said, the frame comes from Joanne's. Beautiful piece. Um, next, we have this gorgeous, big, round uh, dining room table. Um, I got the table off of Facebook Marketplace from Ooh. a woman who was just redesigning her home. She gave me a really good price and I found chairs to complement it. And these came from an art van liquidation actually. Um, the rug itself has the blues and the grays and the yellows that complement all the colors in the tapestry, that complement the colors of the cabinets, complements the colors of the wallpaper, and I got that from Lowe's. Um, let's just take a moment to appreciate, since we're talking about the way that this house has transformed, we can appreciate this bright blue wall color, okay? <laughs> and that was just to build contrast for these this deep blue uh, cabinetry paint choice. So initially they were just brown, regular cabinets and I painted them this deep dark blue and that matches the blue and the wallpaper that I chose. Um, this wallpaper is from Macy's. Wallpaper in general can be a headache, but it's completely worth it. It's worth it because it adds so much personality to this kitchen. So Absolutely. I love that keeps it open, um, it keeps it um, eccentric, and it just adds a lot of detail. Um, in the kitchen, like I said, we have the cabinets. They come all the way down to um, the refrigerator. Um, huge, open, uh, five burner stove. Um, we have a jute rug, um, which just speaks to the way that it's weaved. Mm -hmm. And so I love this in the kitchen because it's really soft. <laughs> uh, so when you're standing here doing a bunch of dishes, you just have something to give you some support um, as you're, you know, doing your day-to-day -day tasks, yeah. preparing meals, you know, cleaning up. And microwave comes from Amazon, but this, the kitchen's best friend, the rooster, actually came with the house. 
<laughs> and I'm happy I didn't throw it away because it just goes to another thing that adds character in this space. Um, and I also just think that it kind of plays on the way that this house is very traditional in the sense of architecture, but um, it, it still is complementary to something that has become so much more modern. Absolutely. Any questions you want to fill in while we're um, I do have one question about this uh, this home definition on the wall. Mm -hmm. What does home mean to you? What does home... Well, this definition, a place for family to come together to create an infinite amount of memories, joy, laughter, and love. I think that that, that sums up everything. That's what home should be for everybody. Um, I would add safety. You have to feel safe to do all of those things. And so, I, I love that. I Absolutely. Want, when people come here, I want them to feel at home. <laughs> and so far, that's what it's been. Awesome. Um, what about the ceiling fans? I just noticed those. I love a sale. If you haven't noticed, it's either clearance, liquidation, or goodwill. I love a sale. <laughs> the, um, they came from Home Depot. They were on sale, um, maybe 40, 50% off. And I installed them myself. Ooh. Okay. They also... Just so you know, you might notice you don't see anything, you don't see any pulley strings to get them to work. These just turn them on and off. Huh. So you're wondering, how do you change the speed of the fan? I am curious. They have remotes. Oh. Okay, so let's figure this out. That's that one. Oh. So <laughs> it turns it off, we're going to use this one. So these remotes turn the lights on and off. It speeds up the, the fan speed. So you can turn the light on and off. Turn the fan on. You can make it go really fast. You know, make it go really slow. So it's perfect for the space. I love this fixture as well I installed. Um, I love the dimmer in the kitchen. I love the dimmer because it sets the mood for this entire space. Ooh. Having chill kitchen table talks with your family and friends and just really getting down to the nitty gritty, you know, slinging that bra across the room after a long day <laughs> just so you can relax and breathe. The dimmers really set the mood for that. So we're not all completely upgraded. We still stay true to the nature <laughs> of the architecture here. So this is bedroom number one. This is probably my favorite room just because it feels fresh. It feels peaceful. To me, this room has a more playful energy. You get that from the artwork, rainbow colors, very colorful, very vibrant, uh, vibrant very encouraging, be brave. Um, that is connected to this beautiful rug I was gifted by my grandmother actually. Um, it has rainbow colors as well, and it has these little knots in it, and I thought that that would be perfect for this space. Um, I have fallen in love with different yellows. Um, I don't know why. It's just sunny um, <laughs> and vibrant, um, and I carry that over to the curtains. These curtains, by the way, they're really thick, and they're blackout curtains, and they're textured, and they came from Goodwill. <laughs> they're amazing. <laughs> Um, that beautiful lamp over there, that was another liquidation. I got that with the lamp that I purchased in the living room that was on that uh, side table. Um, this even came from Goodwill, put wow. it together, fresh out of the box. Oh. Beautiful, please, Goodwill, sponsor this video. <laughs> um, and this beautiful mirror I got in consignment for five bucks. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's this room. It's um, really, really well put together. Thank you. So now we're in the bathroom. And before this bathroom was a lot darker. Um, I believe that the walls were darker blue. The shower was that a plastic kind of lined shower as opposed to tile. So we took tile all the way from the tub to the ceiling so that we can bring your eyes upward to these higher ceilings and we chose white because it just kind of makes it feel fresh. In a bathroom, it's important because it makes it feel clean. 
Um, I got this beautiful circular mirror from Target and this beautiful vanity um, and faucet in consignment. Um, I believe it originally came from Home Depot, but I, I believe I only spent 75 bucks and usually these things are like $300. So beautiful. Um, yeah, we got these, this decor on clearance from somewhere. Worry less. I can't even worry about where I got it from. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and if you want to come and take a peek over here in this corner, this is where, for me, in the bathroom, the magic happens, okay? We have all of these beautiful canisters that originally are from Target, but I also got these from Goodwill. And I filled them with toothbrushes for Ooh. guests and we have cotton swabs and just whatever you need just Absolutely. to get yourself together really quickly. <laughs> um, and then a bunch of towels, white to match, you know, the rest of the decor, a dark shelving system to add contrast. Absolutely, that's, that's really nice. It's like a, you're going the extra mile for the, the guests there. Absolutely. By the way, awesome. so far, all the reviews have been five star. Awesome. Guests have um, enjoyed their stay. And if you've ever used an Airbnb, you might notice that there's an option to review, but then there's also an option to leave a personal message. Yeah. And I really appreciate that they leave personal messages. And I love that they go into detail about the space. Because yeah. it leaves room for correction, but so far, mm -hmm. it's just been so good to hear good things <laughs> about something you work so hard on. So, Absolutely, I mean, yeah. everybody likes you know positive reinforcement too. For sure. So this is the last room in the house. And this is this bedroom is a little bit bigger, so I guess you can call it the master suite, okay? Um, I love yellow. I got this bedding from TJ Maxx. <laughs> and I just love that it's fluffy and it just adds texture to the space. We have it through the pillows. And then we have this beautiful canvas from Ikea, <laughs> beautiful. Um, more white curtains to bring in more light to, um, so the light bounces off of the white and um, the black curtain rod to add contrast. Um, I also got this system from good old Goodwill. <laughs> um, and I love that this beautiful artwork came from Liquidation from Artland. And you can see some of the golds in the framing, but a lot of the colors influence what's going on in this space. The lamp here came from Goodwill as well. Great condition, works, nothing wrong with it. And then we have these beautiful t uh, chairs that you might have noticed in the last uh, bedroom. Um, and these came from a consignment shop. And I just thought that these would be perfect for the space. It has the wood just like the rest of the house, but it also adds contrast to these lighter bedrooms. Um, you'll notice this room has all these weird closets. Um, this one is the closet that a guest would use for their clothing. <laughs> but this closet happens to be a mini laundry room. If you want to come around oh. this way, you'll see that it has a washer and dryer. Oh. So. That all, that's always beneficial when you want to wash your clothes, you know, before you go back home. Love it, love it, love it. And then the last closet over in the corner, it's just where we keep linens for the guests so that we can change them really quickly as, you know, somebody's heading in. Awesome. Any questions in this space? Um, not in this space, but what is your favorite space in the entire uh, Airbnb? Yeah, yeah. My favorite space is the kitchen. In the kitchen? <laughs> the kitchen awesome. is open. The kitchen kind of, it's connected to all of the other spaces. Yeah. Um, so you, you, you just cannot miss the kitchen. And my favorite thing in the kitchen is this intricate wallpaper. That's my favorite thing. It adds so much to the space. And if not that, then it has to be the tapestry because everybody compliments it. Um, I think that it's very captivating. You don't know what this person is thinking. You don't know if they're judging you or, or if they're in the, the tough times of life with you. But either way, you're captivated by that every time you come into this space. For sure. Well, um, 
What a great tour you've uh, you've put on here. Um, just the fact that you remember literally where you got everything, that's, yes. I mean, that says a lot. Um, is there anything else you wanna add? Anything else you wanna share about the, the space, about um, what your future plans are for the space? Anything you wanna add to the space in the future? Well, yeah. for now, the vision is to continue using this space as an Airbnb. It's really serving its purpose well in that lane. Um, I like to just fine tune some things and just really make it all that it can be. One thing is just um, maybe siding or um, trim to the baseboards. That's one thing that I really want to do. But overall, I'm very pleased with how this turned out and I receive amazing reviews from Airbnb. Um, about how people enjoy this space. So I'm gonna continue to use this air in Airbnb. However, the other unit in this duplex, I'll probably use as a long-term tenant just to have, you know, regular income um, once I move out of here. So awesome. Go to the next project. Alrighty, well, is there anything else you wanna say? Um, I guess where, where can people find more about you? Well, first, please follow me on Instagram at hpm underscore flint. Um, you can see kind of my day to day, mo more projects that I'll post and more clips in the future. Okay. Um, other than that, please just stay tuned, you know, keep an eye out for everything that's going on in Flint. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for stopping by, Zach. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed that tour and if you enjoyed Fabian's Airbnb, what he's spent so much time designing and putting together every little detail. Uh, if you want to check it out, maybe stay for a night, a weekend, week, month, forever, check out that link in our show notes. That's where you can find it. You can find all of our information, social medias, anything you could possibly need is going to be right in that link. So check it out. Once again, make sure you leave this video a like, comment, share it with all your friends, subscribe, and do all the YouTube stuff. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, a review goes a long way. It really, really helps us out. So if you guys have any questions, send us an Instagram DM or an email. I'll see you next time on Coffee with Zach. Thank you.